Hey guys, it's Fluky here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a basic GFX tutorial on how to put a 3D object into like a 2D scene like this picture here. I'm going to do this using uh, Cinema 4D. So first of all, you have your Lightroom open. You don't need Lightroom, um, but you know it helps. And you choose your picture. And uh, first of all, you just go into the folder where you find the picture. And just look at the resolution. As you can see, this is 1024 by 768. So you just go into here. Yeah, 1024 by 768, which is the resolution of the picture. Once you've done that, um, to make put the picture into uh, Cinema 4D, you just go to File, New Material, then double click on that material, uncheck Specular, go to Color. See that um, if you look on texture, there'll be a little arrow. You go on to load image, and you just find your image from there. Um, there mine is. Uh, when it comes up with saying this, just press no. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, right. Once you've done that, go up into the light section here, and then go into background, and then drag this onto the background. And now this just makes a background, basically, like it says. Uh, once you've done this, you might want to um, make it so the floor fits with the floor on here. So as you can see, this goes off into the horizon, and yeah, just it's just basically that really. So you just level it up nicely like that. Um, once you've done that, uh, just go on to floor and just drag the same texture onto there um, and put it onto frontal. Frontal means that it just fits in. Um, now because we're going to be doing, I'm just going to do that like. Now, because we're going to be doing shadows, because as you can see on this uh, picture here, you can very obviously see the shadows. So the sun is all very obviously on the left because the shadows are being uh, cast to the right. Um, so we're going to obviously need some shadows on this. And to do that, um, to make the shadows look right, you're going to have to go onto floor and add a tag. So you're going to do Cinema 4D tags, go to compositing, and then uncheck self shadowing and check compositing background. And now this will just mean it fits with the rest of it. Um, now, just if you want to add a logo, just go to Merge, um, go to your AI files, um, I'll add uh, the saw one, because I used that recently. Um, just make it as big as you want. Um, if you want to make it so it's like in the floor, you can make it so it's like that. Um, but what I tend to do is at the very beginning, just put it right in the middle, and then bring in the extrude nerves. Drag that in, and because you see that's three parts. If you hold Control and drag into there, drag into there, I mean it just copies it, and then just drag the paths into each one. Now you might want to make them a little thicker, so just collect, uh, select each of the extrude nerves, make them a little bit bigger, like that. And then um, it, the thing is, just when you highlight that group, it'll be around about in the middle. So you can just size it up to whatever size you want. Um, if you want to make it so it's like plonked in the sand, you could do it like that. Now we just do a little preview. You see, because I've got this light room, it does a uh, extra bit of rendering. There you go. As we can see in the preview, it just looks like it's been plonked in the sand. But the thing is, at the moment, there you go. Wait, you can see the shadow already because I have a light room. But okay, let's just say I delete the light room. So you don't have a light room anymore. Um, if if I did render it, there wouldn't be a there wouldn't be a shadow there. So if you want to put a shadow in, I'm just going to move this right to where I want it, I want it to go back there. If you want to put a light room in, um, just, not a light room, just a light, just drag a light on, and put it where you think about the sun would be, so I think it would be up there, there somewhere. Um, but as you can see on the front face it's kind of dark, so you might, what you might want to do is, uh, I'm just going to go out of camera mode, um, yeah you might want to put another one just in front of it, just so... Um, just so it like it actually shows up the logo better. Um, but if I go back into camera, you see the. Oh wait, I went the wrong way. Um, there you go, try that like that. Oh poo. I'll oh, see. Now that's that's the problem with going out of camera mode is because you always lose your tracking point. Yeah, as you can see, it's very bright <coughs> on the front. So what you might want to do is go to uh, general and just lower the intensity until it looks a little bit grey, but not too grey. That makes sense. Alright, so now to add the actual shadow, I'm just going to line this back up again. Go into your first light that you made, go to shadow, and then go to shadow map soft. And now if we render out, 
and just see what it looks like. Yeah, as you can see, there's a very now you can see there's a very dark shadow. So what you can do is lower the density. Let's say we'll just put on. Let's see what it looks like on 50%. I haven't really uh, messed around with this much. So that's on 50%. Yeah, that looks a lot better than before. So now you've got your shadow. Um, I think the light that light needs to go up a little bit. All right. So now we've got that. Um, one more thing you might want to add is if you go onto the cube section, you can add a landscape like that. And you can drag it just so it looks a little bit better. But you also, once again, you have to drag that on, and go to frontal, and then go to Cinema 4D tags, compositing, uncheck the top, check the bottom, composite. Yeah. So um, and then if we just render that out, it will look pretty dandy. It will just it will just add a little bit of extra on the text. It will just make it look a little bit better. Okay, that looks really good. Um, if you have any good um, light rooms or anything like that, you can get special textures, um, like the ones I've got. So this just makes it look like a rock. Uh, I use this in most of my speed arts. Yeah, so um, this is just by the end of the tutorial, guys. Uh, I hope this helped you. Um, I got I got a request from this from a friend called uh, it's called Frog. Um, I'll put a link in the description for him because he's actually a really good underrated GFXer. So if you guys could go check him out, that'd be pretty sick. Um, what you might be worried about is you can see to the left and the right these two bits here. Um, they actually won't be in the image because if you click away again, you can see that the grey bits are running outside of these. So that actually won't be in the image. Um, I'm going to quickly render this out and then I'll come back to you with the final image, right? Uh, one more thing I just remembered whilst doing this guys is you might want to uncheck alpha channel because if you don't then it will just render the floor region uh, instead of rendering the whole thing in the background and everything so make sure you uncheck alpha channel on in the render settings on save alright and make sure it's PNG and everything else alright and that's all just about what you need to know alright guys so I just finished rendering out and uh, here's the final image I hope this is kind of a tutorial that you wanted if you have any other requests for different like basic GFX tutorials just um, put a comment in the description and I'll see if I can get back to it. Or if you need help me on Skype, just message me on Skype. Alright guys, so yeah, I hope this helps. So, see you in a bit.